everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a beach themed cupcake when I put this on my snapchat so many people wanted to do tutorial on it so that's what I'm going to be doing today so this design is so cute and I've had it in my head for ages now and I finally got down to doing it so basically on the top is just some cute little footprints and some floaties and the bottom is meant to be the sea and the top is meant to be the sand obviously so I really hope you enjoy this video and let's just get on to the tutorial so for the base of these cupcakes, I've just swirled together a bunch of different blues and pearls and translucent colours. Because the clay that I'm using here is actually left over from the first time I made these charms, I'm not actually showing you how to do the marbled effect. If you'd like to see the process, I do actually show you in my Cadbury's Cream Egg Cupcake tutorial, which I'll leave on the screen right now if you'd like to see what I did. And as with all of my cupcake tutorials, I'm not going to be going in depth into how I make my basic cupcake. I have an in-depth cupcake tutorial on my channel so if you'd like to see that please click on the screen right now but I hate to repeat myself so I'm just going to whiz through this part but I will leave it on the screen so you can see it obviously. So you've just seen me take that swirl of colour and roll it into a ball and place it into my mould. If you're wondering where my mould is from, it's from Miniature Sweet on Etsy and it is the 14mm mould. I get so many questions on it. Then I've just shaped the top of it and I'm placing that onto the mould and then reshaping it as I go. Then just taking an old toothbrush, I'm just going to add some texture to the top. So I will be skipping one step that is in my basic cupcake tutorial and that is that I'm not going to be adding any brown chalk pastel. So as you can see here I'm adding the usual sand colour and I'm actually going to be adding a little bit more to make it look, as you guessed it, more like sand and less like it's been baked. So once you've made your basic cupcake, it's now time to decorate. So you can obviously make your floaties whatever colour you choose. I've just chosen to make them pink and blue because I love pastels. So I'm just very simply flattening down a piece of pink clay into a very thin sheet and this is going to be the long floaty, the one that you'd usually lie on. So this is really easy to do and all you need to do is take a blade or a knife and cut out a really long thin rectangular shape. So the rectangle that you cut out you want to be a little bit longer than the actual size you want your floaty. This is basically because we're just going to create the little headrest on the floaty using a rectangle from the original piece. So now I'm just going to blend that in and also reshape it with one of my dotting tools. This isn't necessary but I just think it looks a lot neater when it's all been blended in. Once you're happy with how that looks, you just want to remove it from your work surface and then it's time to place it onto your cupcake. As you can see from these clips, it's all very small and it's very fiddly work. This design isn't necessarily hard but it does require quite a light hand and a lot of concentration. Now you just want to add the last bit of texture and that is to add the little pockets of air that you get on those floaties. So I'm just adding two vertical lines down the floaty. I prefer to do this after we've put the floaty onto the cupcake because it just means you're securing it even more by pushing down on the clay. Due to pressing down on the clay like this, it, the shape does get a bit wonky so I just use my dotting tool to fix that. The next thing we're going to work on is the rubber ring which I'm just using some blue clay and rolling into a ball. You then want to flatten this down and add a hole in the middle, as usual I'm using my trusty yellow dotting tool. You just want to keep making the hole bigger until it's the size you want it. I was thinking that you needed to get a tiny little person through it, someone that would try and sit on the same floaty, but obviously you don't really need to get the scale completely right, but I was trying my hardest. And as you can tell this part is quite fiddly but if you're just very gentle with your hands and you take your time then it shouldn't be too hard. So once you've finished and you're happy with how it looks you can just add it to your cupcake. And with all of my cupcake tutorials these are completely customisable so if you want to put the floaty and the rubber ring and the footprints in different places then you do you and you go for it. But this is just where I was putting them because I wanted to make them as similar to my original one as possible. So the next thing that I'm doing is just marking out where the eyes are going to be on my cupcake because this helps me place my footprints. Now it's pretty impossible on camera to see what I'm doing right now but I'm taking the smallest dotting tool I have which is kind of like a pointy tool and I'm just adding footprints. Basically what I did is I looked up on Google, I just typed in footprints and I got some reference photos of some simple footprints and that's what I did. 
I'm actually showing you here kind of the motions that I'm doing in bigger scale. They look kind of clumsy when they're bigger, but when they're smaller, this really does work. So I'm basically just making kind of like a chubby C or T shape and then adding three dots at the top. Obviously we've got more than three toes, but on this tiny scale, you can't really tell. So here I'm basically just going over my design, making sure all of the footprints are going to be easily seen. And then I'm deciding where to put my hole for my eye screw. Obviously if you're using eye pins or another method, then use that and you can just obviously place your eye pin in straight away. But I use eye screws, so I'm going to be adding a hole. So the next step will be adding a face. I am just going to be whizzing past this again because I do have an in-depth tutorial on how to make clay faces and also one on how to make clay mouths on my channel. So as usual, I'll leave them on the screen right now and if you'd like to go to those, you can click on the links. So the last and final step that I'll be doing for my cupcakes is to add some blush. This is optional, but I just think it finishes off the cute kawaii little faces. So I'm doing this by taking a small paintbrush and some chalk pastels in a nice pink rosy colour. And there you have it, your very own beach themed cupcakes. And all you need to do is pop them out of the mould and bake them to the package instructions. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you try this out, don't forget to use hashtag XXRufus on Instagram and Twitter so that I can see your creations and possibly repost them. Also, if you'd like to see more from me, you can click the subscribe button down below or you can go to my last video that I uploaded by clicking on the screen right now. I also have all of my social media links in the description box and there's also an FAQ if you had any questions. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye bye.